my thoughts on Evernote Task for those who already use a digital task manager and like what they have. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Evernote's new task feature is a major step forward and much progress has been made. Not only can you create a task list, but as you take notes, you can put those tasks right there in the body of those notes. If you have a paid Evernote account, the tasks that you put into the notes are organized in one list with links back to the notes in which they were created. But what if you already have a digital task manager that you like, such as Remember the Milk, Asana, or Todoist? Well, I'm going to give you my thoughts and show you how I am currently using Evernote Task. But I'm going to start and give you some background information that I feel that's important. Feel free to skip ahead, but I think this background information is going to give you the context that's important to you to really understand the underlying concept here. So first of all, let's go back to the days when my tool was a, a day timer, a paper task list. Um, each day was represented on two facing pages. The left hand page held appointments and to do's and the right hand page was for notes. This is where I took notes from meetings or from phone calls. And often there would be to do's that would arise during those phone calls or those meetings. So what I did was put those right there in the body of the notes. And I recommend that today, whether you're taking notes on paper or whether you're taking them digitally, trap those to do's right there in the body of the notes. It's quick and you avoid having to flip back and forth to a calendar or a to-do list while you're still trying to take notes. So when you find yourself adding something that isn't just reference information, but it's a to-do, put a checkbox in front of it. Then back then, later in the day, the drill was always to look at what I had written and ask the question, what, what do I now need to do about what I've written? You'll think of some more to do's, trap them right there as well, and then make decisions about what you want to do about those tasks when you want to do them. Flip to the appropriate pages and start recopying those to do's. Now, here's a little piece of magic. When you write the task on a future date, beside that task, put in parentheses the date that you took the notes. So now days or weeks from now, when you're looking at that task, you have a link back to the original set of notes. That was huge then, and it worked. So now let's fast forward to 2013 and to a service called Task Clone. So I'm taking notes in Evernote. So here I'm taking notes, and let's say that there is a to-do that, that comes out of this, that I need to call Bob. So I'm going to put a checkbox. And then with task clone, I would need to do one more thing. I would come down here to the bottom of the note and add a tag that said task clone. Now here's what would happen. Task clone would go through and it would look for any note that had that tag task clone. And then it would look for any check boxes in the note. And what it would do would be harvest those tasks and put them over on your digital task list. And it would add one more thing it would take the link back to this note, both the web link and the app link. So now here we are and remember the milk and here's my task. And if I put a check mark beside it, then I see here are the links to those notes. Click, I'm right back here at Evernote on the note from which that task was created. And you see how this is exactly like what I had back with my paper planner and how incredibly helpful it was. Now, when I go to the, do, to the task, I'm one click away from the supporting information. Evernote task gives you exactly what task clone has given me since the year 2013. If you have a paid plan, you add your task right there in the related note. So here I would simply go up here and say, 
add task or there's a keyboard shortcut on Windows Alt T and just simply now type the task. I could add a date, I could add other attributes, but that's all I have to do. I don't have to tag the note in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Now I can go to my task list and see all of the tasks that I have created. And there we have one, it says call Bob. If I click on call Bob, I can go right back here and see the note from which it was created. But what if you like the task list that you currently use? Currently, Evernote Tasks is not nearly as powerful as Remember the Milk. And there's another hiccup. With the changes that have come to Evernote, Task Clone just simply isn't working right now, and I'm not sure what the future will hold. So what I'm going to do is give you a workaround, one that's going to allow you to put your tasks right there in your notes, right in the moment, and then later be able to have them on your digital task list of choice. So we're going to go into Evernote and we're going to create one saved search. So here we are in Evernote. I'm gonna go up to the Evernote search window and I'm going to type this search. Contains colon task not completed. Notice how not and completed are capitalized. So first of all, I'm going to run that search and it returns one note, the note that we just worked with that we created and we put that task right down here. So I'm going to save that search. I'm going to call it tasks not completed. And I'm going to say, let's add that save search to the shortcuts and click save. And there it is for us right there. So here's my workflow. During the day when I'm creating notes and there are to-dos that come out of those notes, I'm gonna put those to-dos right there in the body of the notes in Evernote. Later in the day, I'm going to come over to Evernote and I'm gonna run that save search. I'm gonna go down here to shortcuts and click on task not completed. And that's going to give me a list of every note in Evernote that has a task in it that has not been completed. So I'm going to go one at a time and go through and highlight and copy the task. And I'm also going to copy both of the note links. Copy internal link, I'm gonna copy the app link. And I'm going to copy the web link. If you have Windows Clipboard history turned on, you can store up to 15 clips before pasting. That's what's allowing me to put all three of those elements on my clipboard at one time. And I'm gonna to link to a video that I did that talks about this feature. Now I go over to my digital task list of choice and I start pasting those elements. We're gonna say we'll paste call Bob. We'll create the task. We'll click on it, and over here in the notes section, let's add both of those links. And we're done. That task is now over in the task list. Now, there's one more thing that we're going to do. Once you have these tasks safely recorded in your digital task list, return to Evernote and check these tasks off as done. So the rule is that any task that remains in Evernote is a task that has not been recorded on your digital task list. So let me run this uh, task not completed again, and you're going to see that it returns nothing. So we're going to mark anything off in Evernote as done once we put it on our digital task list. Now, if you have an Evernote personal or Evernote professional account, you can automate the process a little bit by creating a filtered note widget. So instead of running that save search each day, you'll have a filtered note widget that's going to do that for you. Let me show you how that's going to work. I'm going to add a filtered note widget. I'm going to click customize on Evernote home. And I see here's the available widget. I'm going to just scroll down and then click and drag that right onto the screen. I just drag it right in there. When I let off, 
Evernote wants to know a name for th this widget. I'm going to call it uh, task not completed. And so now I'm going to apply for the filter a saved search. And as I look down here, I see task not completed. I'm going to click. We're going to say done. And now my widget is complete, but there's nothing in it. Why not? Well, we don't have any tasks that are not complete. So let's go back and add one. I'm going to return to that same note I had a moment ago. So here was that sample note. Uh, you can see where call Bob has already been checked off. But now let's say there's something else that needs to be done. So we're going to uh, say Alt T to create a new task. And maybe this is going to be uh, call Lisa. We've now created a new task. Now we go back over to Evernote Home and we take a look at that filtered note widget. And what do we see? One thing in there, I can click on see all or I can click on the uh, name of the widget. And then when I click it, I'm now looking at a list of all of the notes that have uncompleted tasks in them. There's only one. So when I click on that note, I see that task that I need to highlight, copy. I'm going to go over and copy the links. I'm going over to my digital task list of choice, and I'm going to paste the new task. It was called Lisa. And let's click on it so that we can add to it. So there's your workflow. You can have your cake and eat it too. You can put your task right there in the body of the notes in Evernote, and then you've got that safe search or that filtered note widget that's going to allow you to find all of those tasks throughout Evernote that you can copy and paste into your digital task manager. Be sure and grab those links that are going to take you back to the notes and then check the task off is done so that that saved search and that filtered note widget run clean once you're through. I hope this is something that you're going to find useful. And if you have enjoyed this video, take a look at these two right over here and consider subscribing to the channel for more. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.